What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Caster is Kicks once again. Appreciate y'all for stopping in and checking out the channel. So, today for y'all, I do have a sneak review and honestly, I, I was intending to make this video a while ago, but just got caught up in early reviews and then some other news that had broke since the shoe has released. So, I'm just not getting around to making it and I re actually really wanted to make it because um, this shoe did have three different colorways that come out, so that did come out. So if you're unfamiliar with it or have not checked out the, the title yet, because I cannot speak, I have with me today the Air Max One Far Outs, and I was very, very interested in seeing this colorway in person. I did do a review over the heavies, and now this would be the second one. I was not able to get my hands on the mellows in my size, but I will try to get that one just because I think I want to complete the set and have all three but like I said I will be going over the far out colorway today and honestly there is a ton of detail in this shoe and you know I just kind of reading about it reading about it was very cool to see now starting off this shoe came out back in March which like I said I know we're like mid April now so I'm a little late making this video but when the shoe dropped I think I had woken up like two or three minutes before the drop and just went and hopped on concepts website and was already ready to go and so the shoes the shoes released I have got my 11 and a half in cart I think I had like two minutes so I was in pretty good shape and when I added them to cart and then I was clicking forward to go jump in queue I saw that they were like 230 and I was like I was thinking did I accidentally add two pairs to my cart or something like that so I'm just I'm I'm sitting there wondering why it's at 2:30. So I was just gonna fix it whenever I got to the pay now screen and just remove one of the pairs um, out of my cart, thinking because I added two. So I get to the screen and I'm filling out all the information, and it's only one shoe in cart. So I'm like, these shoes are really 2:30. But at, you know, I wanted the shoe and I wanted to do review, so I was like, whatever. I'm gonna just pay the 2:30 and get it out the way. So I buy the shoe. I'm good to go. Things move very quickly with the concepts website. They have they they did a great job with these releases unlike union because union has had a terrible release recently um constant did do a good job with their release in my opinion especially because i was able to hit on 11 and a half which is not an easy size to hit on so fast forward after paying the 230 i, I find out that there is actually a special box with these which is why they were 230 and i did not know that these were going to be a special box pair so it was honestly a surprise but i was not complaining because again the box that it came in was actually very cool especially for me to be unaware that it was a special box so go ahead or moving forward and jumping to the special box so this is the special box that came with the concepts air max one far out now as you see if you look at the front you see like it almost looks like glasses but this is actually meant to resemble a VW microbus which they had back in the day so that is what this this box is meant to look like a bus you'll see the um, license plate on the back it says concepts on there and then on the side you'll see the wheels so this was actually a really cool concept um, it, it, it is for concepts but this I, I did like the theme behind this box I thought it was actually really dope and I'm actually glad I was able to get a pair because I will be keeping this pair for myself so I think it's cool to actually add this special box to the collection now there were two special boxes if I'm not mistaken there was this one which had the blue and the black like a more um, toned down version of it even though there's a bunch of colors on here it's still a toned down version and then I believe they had a pink version of this box and I think if you bought the pair online, you got this version. And if you got it in store, then you got the pink version. I'm not 100% on that. If you know, uh, correct me in the comments because I, I didn't realize it was a special box until I did a little research and saw um, that they had a pink box and then they had this box. But very dope box to have. You can see the windows on the side there. So glad I was able to get these and pick these up. Now moving to the regular box. It is the same box that we saw with the Air Max 1 Heavies. So it is that um, black box with the Nike in the floral pattern. And then of course you see like the check in that floral pattern right there. And then concepts on the side. And then this side has nothing but it does have a little something right there. And then concepts on this side as well. So like I said, same um, box that was with the heavy, heavy, heavy box. And I'm assuming it was the same with the Mellows as well. Now moving to the label, the label reads Nike Air Max 1 SP. Uh, the colorway is wild violet multicolor sale and then this is a size 11 and a half like I said I will be keeping this pair for myself 
and retail price I believe I ended up paying it was maybe a little over 230 or right around 230 is what I paid for this pair so a little expensive for an Air Max but because it did come with the special box that is why now they did not only come with the special box they did come with some extra things on the side so to start off you did get a bandana with these so a green bandana and on it it does say love our confusion 1969 and then it has like concepts written on the side so concepts there and then that is the saying on the bandana there so this is a nice little cool bandana and then moving on you did get a couple stickers with these as well um, so like you got this sticker and then a couple other ones that you got as well so four stickers total so these are them right here and then you also got a hang tag now I don't know if this has a scent to it or not or if it's just just a hang tag to hang in your car but you did get this and then you got a rain poncho and this I know when I doing some research the rain poncho I know I, it rained um, when they did we're doing festivals back in the 60s um, of course so that is what the rain poncho signifies and then you do have um, this vinyl album and it has two vinyls in here and they're meant to be coasters so I thought that was actually a pretty cool touch because when I first opened the box I was like why are these two vinyls are these like vinyls or something but they're actually meant to be coasters so just cool little um, extra details and extra pieces that came with the box with these so I guess to kind of up the price since it was so much now uh, let's go ahead and jump into the shoes so this is the Air Max one far out so of course I'll get that quick 360 and then, then we'll go ahead and jump into the shoe and honestly there is a lot in this shoe I'm gonna try to um, talk about everything that's in this shoe I'm I guess I'm gonna do my best I, I want to shout out one of my subscribers I don't remember his name off the top of my head um, but on the Air Max one heavy video he told me to, he or she told me to go check out um, Shay TV's video on the heavies because she went into a lot of detail and just talked about the history of the heavy shoe and so I was able to watching hers kind of get an idea of what everything was that went into the shoe so shout out to whoever that was I'm sorry I don't remember your name right now um, but I did go check out Shay's video and she did a great job breaking down everything so starting off with this shoe now you do have that kind of brownish outsole that brownish outsole and then same with moving up to the midsole is like a I don't even it's like a dark white kind of but that midsole wraps all the way around now if you notice on the midsole which I'm assuming this is why the outsole is that brownish you see some speckles on here and you can really see them like on the air unit there you see those brown speckles those speckles are meant to represent mud basically and just walking around through all of or walking around through the festival uh, during that time now before I go further into the shoe the festival I'm talking about is Woodstock which was in 1969 in Bethel New York and it was at a dairy farm so it was very very muddy very dirty um, so that is why you see the specks of or the specks of mud quote unquote on the midsole and also like I said why the outsole is probably brown now continuing to the upper you do see we're gonna start with the mud guard so you do see that paisley print and that wraps all the way around that purple paisley print and that wraps all the way around the shoe on the back here and then it stops on this side right here so that paisley print is like a canvas material and like I said that wraps all the way around the shoe there and then we'll go to the back because that is the other paisley print on here so you have that lime green paisley print as well and that wraps around the back of the shoe on the ankle part it is that same canvas material on the back as well now moving to the toe box um, which of course is the majority of the shoe you do have that denim print so I'll start here on the inside of the shoe and go towards the toe box and so you do see all that denim that blue denim and that wraps all the way around the shoe on this side now one thing I did see um, when watching Shay's video is you do see those logos on the toe box there and I believe it's like a slash a star and then a like a crescent moon now um, I didn't I was very curious when I did the heavies like what that I didn't know what it meant but um, watching shades TV, shade TV's video it, it is actually the 
um, images that were on the actual Woodstock ticket um, when the concert was going on. So um, each icon was a specific day of the event. So I believe it was a three day concert. Um, and so each icon was on that specific day. So that is what's on the toe box. That is what those icons mean. Like I said, when I first did the heavy, I was so confused as to what that was, but now that I have an idea, it makes sense. Now, continuing on, and we actually go a little bit above the toe box, you do have that um, pony hair, but it, it looks like a cow's hide. Um, it is that cow kind of fur here, but I believe it's the pony hair. That is, of course, like I mentioned earlier, the concert was at a dairy farm, so that is just a kind of nod to the dairy farm in Bethel, New York, with that cow print there. Now, let's see, let's move to the swooshes. So you do have that flower um, print there. It signifies the flower power back in the 60s. So that is what that is there. And then of course you do have this blue, green, and it's like a light green, I believe it is. And that's on, goodness gracious, that's on this swoosh on this side. Now moving to the ankle collar, you do have this tribal print and it does have concepts name written around it and that wraps all the way around the collar of the shoe here and then you can get a better um, view of the concepts written out on the collar there on the back side and like I said it continues all the way around the ankle collar now on the back you do have Nike Air on the back of the shoe and it is does have that frayed pattern or not frayed pattern but it is frayed on the back so you do have the um, pieces of fabric sticking out there now moving to the laces, I believe I've covered everything on the outside. So moving to the laces, you do have these pink laces in here. Now these do come with extra laces, but honestly, I think I would keep the pink laces in there. I like how these look in the shoe right now. But like I said, they, they do come with extra laces and you do have, let me see, two extra pair of laces. So you have a velvet pink lace, which I think would look really cool in the shoe as well. And then like the current laces in the shoe, you do have a white pair of that same style of lace. So those are the two laces you get with the shoe, of course, along with the pink laces that are already in the shoe. Now jumping back to the tongue, you do have the tongue tag with Nike and Concepts on there. And then if you can't tell by the material of the shoe, it is a velvet tongue on here. So that's a very interesting detail on the shoe, but I do like it, velvet tongue. Now the last piece of the outside of this far out is the guitar pick that's hanging on the side of the shoe and one side has Nike on it so you see that Nike there and then the other side has the concepts branding on it so that is this side. Alright so that is the outside of this shoe now we will jump to the inside these do have a just an all paper shoe tree and then we will continue on. Now you do have this pink sock liner and it's almost like a quarter room type material and that wraps around the entire sock liner there. And then going to the insole, I'm going to take the insole out so y'all can see it. So this is the insole and it's almost like an abstract insole. I do like that pattern on there, very different but very cool. And so yeah, so it's a blue insole, different shades of blue and yellow. Now I will show y'all the other shoe real quick. And this is the other shoe. For the most part, like the colors and the patterns, um, they're pretty similar to each other. Or not, um, the colors and the material are similar. The patterns may be slightly different on each shoe just because it looks like the materials like came from different places. But honestly, I like that the patterns and prints are different on each shoe. I think it gives it its own uniqueness. And I'd be very curious, I, I'm almost betting that each shoe is different. Um, I think that would be a cool touch of each shoe would just kind of have their own pattern like that really makes the shoe unique and just kind of adds an interesting perspective to the shoe in my opinion um, but like I said no big differences outside of like the prints that are on the shoe now I will show you the insole because the insole is a little different let me take this one out so this one has less of that pattern on it compared to the other one and I will hold both of them up so y'all can see and even the logos on here so one has the concepts logo written out let me do this so y'all can see both of them. So this is both of the lo or both of the insoles with the shoe. As you see, they're both different. And this is one of the things you may not notice because you're going to wear the shoe, but still cool to get an idea of what they look like in hand with both of them out. 
Now overall, that is both shoes. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I think in the heavy video, I want to say, I, I had a I had a feeling that I would like this one better. I think I like this one out of all three of them. This is my favorite for sure. Um, I do own the heavies, and I, I need to make a decision on if I want to get the mellows and complete this set. I feel like not since I have two out of three, I might as well just get all three and have all three. Um, but I'm just gonna have to wait and see. Now these are very interesting shoe. Wearing denim is is very different, but. I'm here to see what, how I can style these up, so whenever I do get around to wearing them, it's going to be interesting to see what I put on. I've seen some dope outfits with people already wearing these, so um, I'm kind of I'm ready to actually get them on feet. And I really don't wear shoes right when I get them, but these I'm kind of ready to wear. But let me know if you were able to copy the Air Max 1 far out, and also which is your favorite out of the three. Like I mentioned, you have the Mellows, the Heavy, and the Far Out. I'll put up a picture of all three so y'all can get an idea of what each one looks like. But like I said, let me know which one was your favorite. I, I feel like the only downside with these was that the price was so expensive on them at being $230. Excuse me. That is kind of a lot for Air Max 1, so not everybody's going to want to pay that price. Um, but I'm still curious to see which one y'all like the best. Like I said, I think the Far Out is at the top of my list for me. And I think the Mellow may be number two and then the Heavy number three. But I have to look at the Mellow again in person whenever I get around to doing that. But like I said, let me know how y'all feel about these. Let me know if you felt the price point was too much. Like, being that it was a special box, do you think the special box in addition to the shoe was enough to warrant the 230 price tag on these? Or was that just too much entirely? But as always, appreciate y'all for stopping in. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Please, please, please hit that like button so I, it helps the channel grow. Helps the algorithm push the channel out more. So... Hit that like button if you have not already, and turn on the notification bell so you can stay up to date when I post new content. But as always, appreciate y'all for stopping in. Hope y'all enjoyed this review over the Concepts Air Max 1 um, far out, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.